guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to talk about how you can bring your curls back to life. I probably get this question once every day of how can I bring my curls back to life? How can I get my curls popping? How can I get the flow going? So I'm gonna give you my top tips on how I brought my curls back to life two, three years ago. And you know, maybe see you try them, you tell me what you think, okay girl? All right, so number one. Deep conditioning. Deep conditioning is so important. You need to give your curls back the food, I should say, that has been missing. I deep conditioned my hair twice a week at first. Until I felt like my hair didn't need as much deep conditioning, I stopped and I just started with I just started with once a week. Now, the biggest thing is to listen to your hair. Your hair will tell you what it needs. If it needs to be deep conditioned, if it needs to be moisturized, if it needs to be washed, your hair is going to tell you. So you have to learn your hair, know when your hair needs to be conditioned, when it needs certain things. You want to deep condition with moisturizing deep conditioners. You want to pay attention to what ingredients you're putting in your hair. Once you find a deep conditioner that actually works for your hair, that gets your hair, you know what I'm saying? Stick with that deep conditioner and venture out once you get a hang of what your hair needs and then you'll be able to decipher what deep conditioners are good for you and what ones should be used and shouldn't be used. A tip for deep conditioning, deep condition overnight. I used to get in the shower, co-wash my hair, put the deep conditioner in, put a um, plastic cap on, a little hair wrap and go to sleep and wake up and during the day rinse it out and style it. That works perfect. It definitely does, um, you know, because heat opens your pores. So when you're sleeping, your, your scalp automatically gives off heat. So while your deep conditioner's in there, you're sleeping, you're conditioning your hair during the night, a great eight, seven hours of deep conditioning perfect if you don't have that type of time you can always do the whole put the deep conditioner and sit in the dryer for 15 20 minutes you know 30 minutes this guy's over here playing 30 minutes or whatever whatever you think is best for your hair but i did overnight and sometimes i do all day it definitely depends on what i feel like my hair needs um natural deep conditioners are good too um some Good ingredients to use in the deep conditioner would be shea, um, shea butter. Shea butter is so good for deep conditioning. It softens, it moisturizes, moisturizes, it locks in, locks in the cuticles. It's it's wonderful. I have a video that I'll probably link up here where I made my own deep conditioner with some egg and some oil. That's perfect. You don't have to go to the store and buy a whole deep conditioner if you don't have to, if you don't want to. You can mix those things together. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, 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 in the bowl, put them in your hair, and let it sit, and girlfriend, you're gonna already realize that, oh my goodness, this is the bee's knees, okay? So, deconditioning. Then you wanna find moisturizing leave-ins. Leave-ins are so important because you leave them in. So, if it's a product that's drying and you leave it in, it's gonna dry your hair out. Like, that's counterproductive of what we're trying to do. Curls need moisture. Curly hair needs moisture. Protein treatments, people. Protein treatments. There are protein packets out there. There are protein um, deep conditioners that have protein in them. I would suggest if you're bringing your curls back to life, that you do a protein treatment probably once a month for starters. And then if you feel like you still need a little bit more, if you you know you're getting the hang of it, I would say once every two weeks. And then you can see what your hair needs from that point. Um, like I said before, the deep conditioner that I made that had the shea butter in it and the egg, egg is protein. Definitely put some eggs in your hair, girl, or some shea butter together, whip it up in the kitchen, and that will be your protein treatment. Know when you need to put water in your hair. Water is good for your hair. I'm sure a lot of us have grown up with the saying, don't get your hair wet, don't get that black girl hair wet because it's going to shrink up and you don't know what to do. Water is your best friend. You need to have water in your hair. Water, okay, is moisture, okay? So you need to be wetting or I guess co-washing your hair once a week. I will put my top um, products for each step of this process down below so you can check them out, see what you like, see what you've tried, see what you haven't tried. If you have any questions at all of how to do the curl reviving process, just drop me a line below. Anyone that's asked me, I've always given them like a little regimen of what they can do and I've I've gotten responses that their curls are back popping. So, shout out to you guys, you supporters. Shout out to you. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you for subscribing. Thumbs up, comment below, and follow at your girl on the flip. Bing, 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 bing.